It's 8 a.m. ahead. Soccer is a global game, but not all kids worldwide have access to play. What two Southern Wisconsin men are doing to change that. And we are expecting a very nice weekend, but we do have some storms next week of the full forecast coming up. And then later, a statue honoring the life of Bell Phillips gets final approval to go up on the state capitol grounds. How soon until it's erected? Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings. I'm Kyle Pazorski. It is Saturday, April 13th. Let's begin by taking a look outside this morning. Jacob Montesano is here for what the day ahead will be like. Jacob, it's going to be a pretty overall sunny day outside, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be very sunny and also very mild. Temperatures today are going to be possibly the warmest they've been all year, especially tomorrow. Now, right now, we're seeing a current temperature of 47 degrees, plenty of sunshine and calm winds already. It's very comfortable out there. And look at the temperatures across our area already mild for this time of the morning in far southern Wisconsin. A tad bit cooler as you get further north towards La Crosse and Eau Claire with temperatures around 40. But looking at the timing, timing out your day, we are going to see temperatures in the 60s pretty quickly, possibly lower 70s by the end of the day. Winds might be a little bit breezy for you folks in La Crosse, but here in Madison, we're going to see calm winds, plenty of sunshine. Highs will be near 70. Definitely get out and enjoy the weather if you can. It's going to be nice across all of southern Wisconsin. Plenty of sunshine. Highs in the 60s. A tad bit cooler as you get closer to the lake, but still very comfortable for this time of year. And if you can't get out today, check out the forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be even warmer with high temperatures forecasted in the middle 70s with more sunshine. I wish I had all good news, but that actually isn't the case. We do have an alert day Tuesday for the possibility of severe weather. Now, obviously, severe weather isn't necessarily good news, but at least we are going to see some rain that parts of our area is still under that drought. They definitely need it. I'll talk more in detail about the severe weather later, but just know that at this point, there is a possibility we could see high winds, hail, and maybe an isolated tornado with the storm. So I'll have the details later. All right, Jacob, thank you. We'll check back in just a bit. With spring here and summer on the way, it's easy for many families to dig out their soccer balls and cleats or buy new ones. But children in countries around the world don't have that luxury, despite having just as much love for the game. Our Arman Rahman shows us an effort here in Wisconsin to help out. Two men in Dane County who love soccer are looking for your old soccer gear like this you have lying around the garage because they have a goal of helping kids in West Africa. You know, these are kids with dreams, just like every other soccer player. But when Aliunjai of Cottage Grove went home to Gambia for a visit, he saw those kids scrounge around to find anything they can kick around for soccer, just like he did. We'll use a bunch of plastic bags, put them together, and uh, tighten them up. And then I looked at my next player, He's playing barefoot. So he went to state soccer official Tom Vergeron to find out what they could do. I'm a, been a soccer official for 30 years, and I know most all of the coaches and administrative people in soccer in the state of Wisconsin. All you remembered to play sometimes as a child in West Africa. We have to think out of the box. And so to help them, he and Tom had to do the same. Then I'll wrap it up in either a plastic wrap or I'll put it in a box. Inside, soccer balls and uniforms gathered by teams from Waukesha County to Superior. Now Tom is hoping to connect and collect more through their nonprofit soccer for West African children. We got a couple of uh, respondents in like the depth of the winter. So now in the spring, summer and fall, will really get things going. Aliu deflates and packages the equipment to send with the distribution company he works with. He got to see the impact the uniforms had on the kids in person. The smile on their faces was great, you know, and then it, it was, there were kids that play on the same street that I play on. And my goal is to just spread the law and spread the word and get soccer balls and get people involved. Reporting in Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. In more local news, what's been more than a few years of the making became official Friday. A statue of Bell Phillips will be erected on the Capitol grounds sometime in June. The state capitol and executive residence board granting final approval for the statue, commemorating the life and legacy of Bell Phillips. It'll become the first statue of a black leader or any person of color on the grounds of the state capitol. We want to make sure once the statue goes up in June, uh, that Vail Phillips and her legacy live on, not just by seeing a statue. We want young kids and all families of life to see representation at our state capitol. Vail Phillips, of course, was the first black African woman elected to statewide office, serving as the 29th Secretary of State. 
Other achievements include her being the first black woman to graduate from UW-Madison Law School and the first black judge in Wisconsin. And of course, happening today, just a couple hours ago, the Capitol Square started at the busy season as the Dane County Farmers Market returned for its 52nd season. The weekly market, which consistently draws large crowds downtown, hosts more than 200 vendors and is billed as the largest producer-only farmers market in the nation. It will run each Saturday from 6.15 a.m. to 1.45 p.m. Turning now to crime, Madison police are looking to identify a woman who cut a shopper at a pick and save on Madison's south side. MPD shared these photos of a woman and her car. Police say she used a weapon to cut another shopper's face. It's believed this happened because of frustration over how long the victim took to check out. She was taken to the hospital for her injuries. However, there is no word at this time on her condition. If you have any information, Madison police are urging you to call Madison Area Crime Stoppers at this number on your screen, and that is 608-266-6014. The woman accused of shooting and killing a man Wednesday night on Madison's north side will remain in jail unless someone posts a $1 million cash bond for her release. Police arrested 31-year-old Tamar Brianna Beasley Thursday morning for the shooting on Northport Drive. MPD says the two were in a relationship and had been involved in a previous incident in Chicago. A preliminary hearing is set for April 23rd. And Madison police say someone damaged glass panes last month at one of the city's new BRT shelters on the west side. Here's a look at the damage. They believe the shattered with a projectile the size of a BB. This was at the bus stop under construction at Mineral Point Road and Rosa Road. Construction workers found it like this on March 25th. But when they were last working on the area on March 21st, there was no damage. Again, police are investigating and would like you to call them if you know anyone who is responsible. Turning now to what's been a major story early this baseball season, Shohei Itani's former interpreter surrendered to federal law enforcement Friday and then faced a judge for the first time. They're facing fraud charges for allegedly stealing millions from the Dodgers superstar. Jeff and Wynn shares what court documents have revealed about the sports betting saga. 39-year-old Ipe Mizuhara was shackled by his ankles when he walked into a federal courtroom where cameras were not allowed Friday. Earlier in the day, the former interpreter for Dodger superstar Shohei Otani surrendered to authorities after being charged with a single count of bank fraud related to alleged illegal sports betting. How would you categorize the evidence that was laid out in the complaint? It's a really comprehensive criminal complaint. Former federal prosecutor Jeff Chemerinsky says Mizuhara was formally booked into custody, fingerprinted and photographed by the U.S. Marshal's office before his court appearance, which was brief. During the proceedings, his attorney was able to get his shackles removed. Then the court set his bond amount at $25,000 with conditions for his release. He had to surrender his passport. He cannot contact Otani or any witnesses, and he must enter gambler's addiction treatment. Do you have a first-time offender who seems to have no criminal history. Investigators say between December 2021 and January 2024, Mizuhara placed approximately 19,000 wagers. His total winning bets more than $143 million and his total losing bets more than $182 million, leaving a negative balance of nearly $41 million. Prosecutors say he left an extensive digital trail. A long record of text messages, long record of bank transactions, Transfers. Prosecutors did not comment after court. The federal complaint alleges Mizuhara stole more than $16 million from Otani's bank account. On Thursday, U.S. Attorney Martina Estrada stressed Otani is considered a victim in this case. There is no evidence to indicate that Mr. Otani authorized the over $16 million of transfers from his account to the bookmakers. That's Jeff Nguyen reporting. Now, as for Otani, he released a statement Friday in Japanese. Translated to English, it reads, quote, I'm very grateful for the Department of Justice's investigation. For me personally, this marks a break from this, and I'd like to focus on baseball. Time now is 8.08. Still ahead, a therapy dog at a northern Wisconsin school is weeks away from retirement to share what students there are doing to honor their four-legged friend. And let's take a live look outside. Jacob has your full forecast just ahead on weekend mornings. Galen Banks, News 3 Now at 6 and 10, weekends moving forward. 
Attention homeowners, Mad City Baths is looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. We want to evaluate our custom bathing solutions in real homes for safety and convenience. Mad City is Wisconsin's trusted bathroom remodeler with installations in as little as one day. We're also your local provider for replacement windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. And now be one of 50 homeowners who call and receive a free installation on a new bath or shower with no interest and no payments till 2026. Senior military discounts plus call during this program and receive a free $50 Walmart gift card with your free in-home estimate. Have your zip code and location ready to qualify. Call Mad City now. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4460. That's 608-729-4466. Hello, I'm Tommy Van Ness from the Tommy Van Ness Realty Group. For over a decade, thousands of people have turned to Tommy Van Ness Realty to buy or sell their home. Because we are more than your realtor, we're your partner. If you list with us and take advantage of our extensive marketing, everyone will know your home is for sale. The Tommy Van Ness Realty team is working hard for you. Call Tommy Van Ness today at 608-395-7375. Why settle for less? Call Tommy Van Ness. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Good morning, everybody. Here's a look at the three things you need to know to get you ready for the weekend and next week. We're going to see beautiful weather over the weekend, but unfortunately, storms are expected next week, which will cool the temperatures down for the end of the week. But we definitely will take the rain as some parts of our area still under that drought. First, here's a look at the weekend forecast. Just about perfect. Highs will be near 70 today, middle 70s for Sunday. A little breezy today, but not the case for your Sunday. Sunday, it actually might feel a little bit warm in the sun, especially during the afternoon hours. Get out and enjoy the weather. We'll eventually see temperatures this nice again, but these do look to be some of the nicer days within the, the near future. We have that alert day Tuesday. Right now, we could see a few thunderstorms that produce high winds, some hail, maybe even an isolated tornado. But again, this is still several days out, so a lot can change between now and then. But here's what we are expecting for now. It looks like we're going to be dry the day on Monday. Monday will actually be another very nice day, and then we'll see that rain move in Tuesday morning. We could have two rounds of possible severe weather first in the late morning and early afternoon with a better chance of severe weather coming during the evening. And it looks like some of this rain may last into Wednesday as well, possibly as late as Wednesday afternoon before it clears out by Wednesday evening. Total precipitation will be around an inch and a half possibly for a lot of our area. So those places that are still under the drought will likely see some improvements. There could even be some isolated amounts up to two inches over the course of the two days if we do indeed see some pretty heavy thunderstorms. Now here's a look at the drought monitor updated as of this Tuesday and place is just to the northwest of Madison, still under severe drought. La Crosse under a moderate drought and also surrounding areas. Out near Iowa, there's still a severe drought with the eastern portion of Wisconsin under no drought whatsoever, also the far southern portion of the state. Now looking at the temperatures over the next week, very mild again for the first half of next week. 60s are in the forecast again for Tuesday and Wednesday. 
But after that system clears out, we are going to see temperatures quite a bit cooler with highs in the lower 50s to possibly upper 40s on Friday. And next weekend will certainly be cooler than this weekend, although it still will be dry. For now, we, we aren't expecting any other chances of precipitation after the system clears out Wednesday. Uh, as temperatures look to slowly rebound as we head towards the following week, we may see highs back in the 60s by the following Monday. But for now, it does look like 50s will be in the forecast for next weekend, although we are going to be dry once again. Could see some chances of showers on Thursday, but for the most part, we'll see most of our precipitation next week, Tuesday into Wednesday. So as I've been talking about, enjoy the weather this weekend. Also Monday, because the storms aren't going to move in until at least overnight Monday. And then as we get towards the end of the week, cooler temperatures, but it is April. These temperatures are bound to be back in the 70s eventually. All right, Jacob, thank you. Now into some health risks of climate change and why so many nurses are leaving health care. Michael George has a look at some of the week's top health stories. Measles is becoming a growing threat in the U.S. The CDC says although measles was once declared eliminated, more than 300 measles cases have been reported in America since 2020, and nearly a third have occurred in the last three months, almost all of them in unvaccinated people or those whose vaccination status is unknown. Bad working conditions are driving nurses into leaving the healthcare industry. A new study from the University of Pennsylvania finds that after retirement, the top reasons for leaving are insufficient staffing, burnout, and poor work-life balance. Only 59% of retired nurses say their retirement was pre-planned, suggesting many are abruptly choosing to exit the field. And climate change may be linked to rising cases of fatal strokes. A study published in the American Academy of Neurology found that there's an association between strokes and temperature shifts. Higher temperatures can cause dehydration, which affects cholesterol and blood flow, and lower temperatures can cause blood vessels to constrict. Those are some of the week's top health stories. Michael George, CBS News, New York. On to some continuing coverage, the Biden administration says it's forgiving another round of student loan debt, more than $7 billion worth. The move will impact some 277,000 borrowers. It's part of a program enacted by the White House to make it easier for some specific groups of borrowers, like public sector workers, to qualify for loan forgiveness. But Republicans have sharply criticized the program. They argue the president is transferring the cost of student loan debt to taxpayers who chose not to go to college or who already paid for it themselves. The Universities of Wisconsin system is continuing to face financial difficulties. This week's system president, Jay Rothman, released a statement on the state of UW's finances. According to Rothman, the state currently supports 18% of UW's total budget, while tuition only covers 23%. This has led to a large reliance on staff salary cuts, along with layoffs. Now the universities are looking for different ways to make ends meet, without relying on their staff to take cuts. Universities of Wisconsin have weathered a 10-year tuition freeze, enrollment declines, and inflation. There will be difficult decisions that will need to be made to return to a strong financial footing for our universities. The UW system is now receiving individual consultations on each university to figure out where more money can be gained. A beloved therapy dog at Wassa East High School is retiring at the end of this year and has worked at the school for over six years, touching the lives of hundreds of students. Sloan Wick reports on how students are coming together to honor the beloved canine. Badge's official last day is May 29th. Though he may be gone, he'll be leaving a big legacy. <laughs> K-9 Badge may be leaving the school, but 11th grader Cassie Havel is making sure his face never does. Coming in every day and being able to just do pieces and pieces and see the progress build up until I'm done, I think that's just kind of like an accomplishment every day. There have been a lot of those days. She's been working on the five foot by four foot painting since last month. She plans to keep working on it until it makes viewers feel the same way Badge makes her yeah. feel. Uh, you worked hard for those. Warm in the heart, just because, like, he's kind of that figure in the school, that comfort figure. Badge has brought joy and support to the classroom since 2017. Badge has been used as a tool to help people that have been struggling with any mental health issue, whether it's um, panic attacks or anxiety attacks or 
Oh, I'm just having a bad day. Yeah. Greeny. This man. Huh. <laughs> you want to get one? Kid? He's just a ball of happiness for me. Like he's just he's just gonna make your day happier. Just seeing him. Just happiness. That happiness badge brings doesn't go unnoticed. Other schools have quickly realized how helpful therapy dogs like him can be. Now there's hundreds of therapy dogs throughout the United States and Badge was one of the first few um, to be partnered with a school resource officer. When we first started this idea at the police department, I would have never foreseen something like this. He's kind of like the heart of the school almost in a way. I think like almost everyone in the school knows him. And through the painting, everyone will continue to know Badge, even after his retirement. Though the painting isn't the only legacy he's leaving behind. Here, the scholarship is called Badge's Carry for Community Scholarship. We um, would like it to continue for the next three years. So our current freshman, freshman class that know Badge, we would like to continue that until they are seniors. It makes me feel really proud and really honored. We're getting a, a new dog. Um, here in the future to replace Badge, but people can remember the impact that uh, a, a dog can have on a school. That's Sloan Wick reporting. Badge will continue to train the new dog until it takes over on the first day of the next school year. Well, still to come here on Week of Mornings, Jacob has a quick check at today's forecast and what you need to know for this sunny Saturday. Plus, there are several new shows and movies to check out. Will Lover shares his picks in three things to watch when we return. For affordable American-made baths and showers installed in as little as one day, homeowners trust Mad City Baths. From walk-in showers with a low-entry shower base to walk-in tubs with relaxing hydrotherapy. Plus, with Mad City's price lock guarantee, receive a free design consultation and we'll lock your price in for one year. And now we're looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. 50 homeowners will receive special savings with free installation. No interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts. Plus call during this program and receive a free $50 Walmart gift card with your free in-home estimate from Mad City. Be sure to have your zip code and location ready to qualify. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. <laughs> I had no idea laughter could be a part of my healing after Joe died. But with a Grace's Grief support, I found hope, friends, and the strength to move forward. A Grace, caring every step of the way. We're cranking up the voltage, Wisconsin. Lottery retailers all around the state are lighting up with the latest limited time offer. It's all or nothing bonus days. During the month of April, all or nothing players have a one in seven chance to receive a $2 bonus ticket for the next midday drawing. This electric offer is only available for a limited time and only at Wisconsin Lottery Retailers. Dad, are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Ordinary is the opposite of beautiful. Beauty drops our jaws, dilates our eyes, and beauty is something we can create right now at Floor & Decor. It's the biggest sale of the season at LL Flooring. Save up to 50% on over 300 floors at the Dream Floor event. Get your dream deal with 24 months special financing before April 16th. LL Flooring. Every step covered. Army National Guard soldiers have the option to train and learn skills in the trade fields. Skills that can lead to employment at home as well. Find out how you can learn a trade and serve part-time for your community and country by visiting NationalGuard.com. Well, I'm outside right now, and although there still is a little bit of a morning chill, the birds are chirping, the sun is shining, 
you can kind of feel that's going to be a good day. Now let's take a look at some of our weather photos that were submitted. You folks have been awesome with submitting your photos. This first one was, was sent in by Leanne from Sauk County. I believe Leanne has submitted a few photos before, so thank you for your submission. And our second weather photo of the day was sent in to us by D from Turtle Creek. This photo, as you can see, was taken while there was still snow on the ground. But some of the creeks and rivers did get a little high with the, the rainfall and the snow we saw last week and possibly might get high again from the rain next week. Now, if you want to submit your own weather photo, go to our website, channel3000.com. Click on the weather tab, scroll down until you see post your own. It's as simple as that. Get out and enjoy the weather and send us those weather photos that you take. All right, Jacob, thank you. From a movie showing how certain songs can transport a person back in time to Jack Black's return as Poe, there's a lot of great movies and shows to stream right now. Here's Will Loper with this weekend's Three Things to Watch. Streaming on Hulu is the film, The Greatest Hits. If something happened to you, and I could stop it, but it would mean we would never meet, would you want me to? What? A woman discovers certain songs can transport her back in time. Maybe it's time to start living in the present tense again. The Greatest Hits is streaming on Hulu now. Brick in my hand. I know exactly what it is and what it will do. Newly streaming on Netflix is the film The Brick Layer. Sir, this is urgent. What am I looking at? Victor Raddick. We need to bring Vale out of retirement. The spy thriller stars Aaron Eckhart as an operative uncovering a deadly conspiracy. So, what's our move? I have to find him and end this. The Bricklayer is streaming on Netflix now. It is time to take the next step on your journey. And new to rent or buy on video on demand is the animated film Kung Fu Panda 4. Who's that? The most powerful shape-shifting sorceress, the chameleon. How do I find this, the chameleon? Jack Black returns as Poe this time fighting a powerful sorceress. We're not so different, you and I. Kung Fu Panda 4 is available to rent or buy on digital platforms now. <laughs> Those are the three things you need to watch, and this is Will Loper for Weekend Mornings. Come up next to look at our top morning headlines. Stick with us. This is Weekend Mornings. Key Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanakee Furniture ETC. They're very concerned about the job that they do and um, very professional and uh, like I said before, very friendly. So I appreciated that too. With more than 50,000 satisfied customers and an A-plus rating with the BBB, Mad City Baths is the company to call for high-quality bath and shower installations in as little as one day. And now we're looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. 50 homeowners who call now will receive special savings with free installation. No interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts plus call during this program for a free $50 Walmart gift card with your estimate. Now be sure to have your zip code and location ready to qualify here at Mad City. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint, for certain. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid, not because of the drill, but because of the bill, a big bill. 
But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You can even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. When migraine strikes, do you question the trade-offs of treating? Ubrelvi is another option. It works fast to eliminate migraine pain. Do not take with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors. Allergic reactions to Ubrelvi can happen. Most common side effects were nausea and sleepiness. Ask about Ubrelvi. Save big at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Now at 8.30, details shedding light on a man involved in a Dane County standoff, plus shareholders approved the sale of U.S. Steel. Your top stories are coming up. Plus, Jacob is tracking perfect conditions today. Well, you need to know if you plan to head outside. And later, U.S. officials warning of a retaliation strike from Iran following the death of multiple military officers. We'll break down what it all means ahead here on Weekend Mornings. And once again, good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kop Zorski. We begin with those top stories this half hour where we're learning more about the one of the two people involved in a pursuit and standoff from earlier this week in the town of Albion. Alexander Grunke was found dead after breaking into a home and barricading himself in the basement. He is a person of interest in the death of a 32-year-old woman from Iowa. Authorities are no stranger to Grunke, whose criminal record goes back to 2006 for assisting in digging up a corpse so his brother could have sex with it. We have a full breakdown of his disturbing past up now on channel3000.com. Shareholders of U.S. Steel have approved a $14 billion sale to a Japanese company. On Friday, the company announced that 98% of shares voted were in favor of the deal with Nippon Steel. However, the deal faces significant opposition from the United Steelworkers Union and politicians on both sides of the aisle, with President Biden saying it is, quote, vital that U.S. Steel stay domestically owned and operated. And mark your calendar, just a few days remained for you to file your 2023 taxes. This year you have until Monday the 15th to file your return. If you owe and fail to file by the due date, the IRS will issue a 5% penalty for each month you're late. And if you file an extension by the 15th, you will have until October 15th to file your taxes then. All right, time to check in on today's forecast. Let's send it over to Jacob for what's to come. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Kyle. We're seeing plenty of sunshine already. If we take a look at the Capitol, it's going to be a pretty busy uh, day at the Capitol today, first day of the farmer's market, and the weather is going to be just about perfect for that. Right now, 47 degrees, calm winds. Like I mentioned when I was outside, there's still a little bit of a chill from the morning, but once we get to the afternoon, it will not feel chilly at all. It will feel very, very nice. Looking at the current temperatures, most of our area in the 40s, a few locations still hanging hanging on to the upper 30s, but our entire area is expected to get into at least the 60s, if not the 70s today, and we're going to see plenty of sunshine, maybe a bit breezy for a few locations, especially around La Crosse and areas to the west, but Madison, we don't expect to see really any winds today, only maxing out around 10 to 12 miles per hour. Highs will be near 70. For our entire area, once again, there are a few locations that could possibly get into the lower 70s. For the most part, we'll see complete sunshine, maybe a few clouds here and there, but it's going to be just just about perfect and tomorrow may be even better as we'll see highs in the middle 70s and less wind tomorrow afternoon actually will generally feel warm with the sun out and really no wind impacting our area but unfortunately by the time we get to Tuesday we are expecting alert day conditions for the possibility of severe weather now a lot can change between now and then so definitely stay updated for the latest details but right now we are expecting the possibility of high winds hail and maybe even an isolated tornado I'll talk through the details on this coming up a little bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you so much. Israel is bracing for a possibility of a direct attack by Iran in retaliation for a strike almost two weeks ago, which killed seven Iranian military officers. CBS's Bradley Blackburn has the latest on the threat 
and how the U.S. military is moving more firepower to the region. A U.S. official tells CBS News Iran's planned attack on military targets in Israel could include more than 100 drones, 150 cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles for long-range strikes. On Friday, President Biden had a terse warning for Tehran. Mr. Mr. President, to Iran in this moment? Don't. But the president said he expects Iran will attack Israel sooner rather than later. It would be in retaliation for an airstrike on the Iranian consulate in Syria two weeks ago. Seven military officers were killed. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel. And Iran will not succeed. The U.S. military is positioning warships and other assets in the region for deterrence and to protect U.S. forces. The Pentagon's top commander for the Middle East is now on the ground in Israel. In Jerusalem Friday, some Israeli citizens said they're not letting the threat affect their lives. We don't afraid not from Iran, not from Hamas, not from Hezbollah. But General Frank McKenzie, former head of Central Command, says there's real concern an Iranian attack could lead to wider conflict. If there's a significant mass casualty event inside Israel, then I think the possibility of escalation is very, very high. Overnight, Israeli fighter jets struck a military complex in Lebanon. They say belongs to Iran-backed Hezbollah. The Israeli military says it continues to intercept rockets fired into Israel from Lebanon and the Gaza Strip. That's Bradley Blackburn reporting. Israel's military says it is prepared to go on the offensive if attacked. The U.S. State Department has warned diplomats not to travel outside of Tel Aviv or Jerusalem. Back here in the U.S. on Wall Street, there was a dismal ending to a disappointing week for investors. All the major indices lost, with the Dow giving up nearly 500 points. The losses were fueled by those rising tensions in the Middle East. Oil prices also spiked on those fears. Instead, investors flocked to safe havens like bonds and gold. Here's a closer look at Friday's numbers. The Dow again down another 476 points. The Nasdaq falls 267. The S&P 500 loses 76. And to Milwaukee now, where a person of interest in the investigation into a severed leg is now being charged in, re in relation to a missing teenager. Maxwell Anderson has been in custody since April 4th. He's facing charges which include first-degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse and arson, all the charges are related to the disappearance and now confirmed death of Sade Robinson. She's been missing since April 1st. Documents show Robinson and Anderson had some kind of relationship and the two went on a date on the day Robinson went missing. Still ahead, a UW PhD student is looking to help bring an end to heart disease. We'll share her research next. Plus, here's today's day in history. It took 138 iterations to refine the TIG 1 chassis, but it also took 189 pizzas and 52 all-nighters. The meticulously refined TIG 1. Get 0% APR financing or a $2,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 TIG 1 during the Volkswagen 75th anniversary sales event. Attention homeowners, time is running out to call Mad City Baths as we look for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. Choose from premium wall patterns including Santa Cruz and Arctic ice, infused with microband for easy cleaning. In addition to baths, Mad City is also your trusted source for eco sky windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. Last chance during this program to be one of 50 homeowners who receive promotional pricing with free installation on a new bath or shower. No interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts. And remember, it's your last chance to call during this program for a free $50 Walmart gift card with estimate. Zip code and location are important. Call Mad City Baths now. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. This day and age, we spend way too much time scrolling. Instead, join us for some horseplay at the Midwest Horse Fair. Check out insane tricks, hundreds of horses, clinicians, amazing eats, and spectacular shopping. And entertainment like you've never seen, IRL. Sorry, ask your kids what IRL is. It's the great Midwest. Join us at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison, April 19th through the 21st. 
Tempur-Pedic designed the Ergo Pro Smart Base to help you fall asleep more easily. It's the only Smart Base that features our exclusive soundscape mode that synchronizes a gentle massage with relaxing sounds to help you drift peacefully off to sleep. Get a free $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. Bet you didn't see that. But if you were an Atlas and could detect things in 0.02 seconds, you would have. The Atlas with Front Assist. Get 1.9% APR financing or a $3,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 Atlas or Atlas Cross Sport during the Volkswagen 75th anniversary event. Wednesday at 10, when a massive renovation project began at this Beloit affordable housing complex, some residents told me they were left out in the cold. She was saying how she's sleeping in her car, and I was like, that is ridiculous. Now, dozens more are speaking out about mismanagement and unlivable conditions. I'm hurt deep down inside because I didn't have any hope. So I went back to the top for answers. What this management official told me they're doing to address the allegations. Don't miss my News 3 Now update Wednesday at 10. Once again, here's a look at the alert day information for Tuesday. This is for all of southern Wisconsin. We could possibly be seeing some severe weather with high winds, maybe even some hail and isolated tornado on Tuesday. Now, there is still a bit uncertainty with the system as it is still several days out. We're expecting to see rain throughout much of the day, so it is possible that it's too cloudy and rainy for a lot of severe weather to form. We also could see some cool winds off of Lake Michigan that could also prevent severe weather from for from forming and if it is too cloudy and rainy we may not have enough heat for that severe weather so in general even if we don't see severe weather we are still expecting quite a bit of rainfall and considering we've already had a few flood warnings there may be some flooding concerns so alert day conditions aren't necessarily just for the severe weather although the severe weather is still a possibility so here's a look at the forecast plenty of rainfall on tuesday heaviest will be during the evening and some of that rain may last into wednesday as well thank you the city of Beloit is inviting its residents to participate in NOMO May thanks to a change of an ordinance. But if you want to participate, you'll have to register with the city. By registering, you'll get a city-issued sign saying you're participating in the program. You can also uh, must keep your grass and weeds uh, shorter than a foot tall. NOMO May is a growing movement by pausing mowing. Flowers bloom more easily and help early season pollinators. We've included a link to register on this story online at channel3000.com. Now, staying in Beloit, the Skycarp Minor League Baseball season has begun about a week ago now. And some of the best things about Minor League Baseball, well, they're the promotions and giveaways. This summer, for one night, the Skycarp will become the Supper Clubbers. The team has announced a what could have been night for July 12th. When the team were banded in 2021 from the Snappers to the Skycarp, the Supper Clubbers was actually the second most popular name in a fan-generated contest. So the team will take to the diamond that night in special jerseys, offer special Supper Club-related concessions, as well as giveaways. Moving up north, heart disease is one of the leading causes of death worldwide. That's according to the World Health Organization. Knowing this, a UW-Madison PhD student is looking to change that fact. Jeremy Wall speaks with the student who says the topic hits close to home for her. Gina Wade is on her way to receiving her PhD. The UW-Madison student is teaching locals about fat metabolism. She says it's an important part of understanding how certain diseases are impacted by it. Uh, fat metabolism often lead to diseases like heart disease, diabetes, um, that are top killers of people worldwide. So the more people understand about fat metabolism, the more they can understand their own health and body and advocate for themselves. According to the CDC, one person dies from heart disease every 33 seconds in the United States. It also reports you're more likely to develop heart disease if you have diabetes. Wade hopes her research will make a difference. Surprisingly, not a lot of uh, research about curing type 1 diabetes. We're pretty far behind on that. We don't know how to cure it. We know how to treat it with insulin, but um, there's a lot of pathways and metabolic processes that we don't know about. So that's what I'm trying to do in my research. Wade says she's learning not all fats are bad learned how different types of fat tissue work to maintain our normal metabolism. 
She believes more people should attend events like these to become more aware of their health and how to take care of it. Anyone has the capability to understand their own health. All right, our time now is 8.43. Still ahead, Zach will check in with Friday's News and Sports. Now let's take a live look outside again. Jacob will have another check of the forecast on ne next on Weekend Mornings. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. We can all help fight climate change and battle rising food costs. With garden mats, we can all eliminate trips to the store and grow our own organic vegetables right in our backyard. Go to gardenmats.com. Everyone wants to hire people who are ready to work and passionate about what they do. People that are ready for an opportunity, a job, a career. They just need you to believe in them. Think Ability Wisconsin. Providing workforce support for people with disabilities and their employers. They're ready to work and shape the future. All you have to do is start with yes. Join the movement at thinkabilitywi.org. Backyard living season is here. Coolview has great solutions to beat the backyard blues and save 15 to 25%. Cover your deck with a screen porch, an enclosed porch, or sunroom. If you have a screen porch, let us turn it into an enclosed porch. Shade your patio with a pergola or awning. All on sale now. Let Coolview show you how to tame your backyard blues. Call now for a quote before the sun sets on savings. Get a new view from Coolview. A lot of law firms claim to be experts at handling injury cases that involve large trucks. But handling one trucking case does not make you an expert on the subject. Experience matters in these cases. One local firm has handled 25 trucking cases which resulted in payments over $1 million each, and hundreds of others as well. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. When migraine strikes, do you question the trade-offs of treating? Ubrelvi is another option. It works fast to eliminate migraine pain. Do not take with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors. Allergic reactions to Ubrelvi can happen. Most common side effects were nausea and sleepiness. Ask about Ubrelvi. It's the biggest sale of the season at LL Flooring. Save up to 50% on over 300 floors at the Dream Floor event. Get your dream deal with 24-month special financing before April 16th. LL Flooring. Every step covered. We can all help fight climate change and battle rising food costs. With garden mats, we can all eliminate trips to the store and grow our own organic vegetables right in our backyard. Go to gardenmats.com. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Good morning, everybody. Here's one final look at the three things you need to know for the weekend and next week. Beautiful weather over the weekend, but we are going to see some stormy activity next week, and that will make way for cooler temperatures by the end of the week. So before I talk about the storms, here's a look at your weekend forecast. I mean, it is going to be just about perfect. Highs near 70, maybe a little breezy today, but the winds aren't going to be too bad. And tomorrow, the winds aren't going to be bad at all, and the temperatures will be warmer. So we're going to be talking about our warmest temperatures of the year so far, likely, as the forecast at high of 75 would be higher than the warmest temperature so far this year, which is 73. Now we have that alert day Tuesday, so here is a look at the forecast. We're going to be dry through Monday. Monday will actually be another very nice day, and then some showers look to move in late Monday night and Tuesday, and we could possibly see two rounds of severe weather. The first round will come Tuesday late morning and early afternoon, but a better chance of severe weather may come during the evening hours. Now, as we get towards Wednesday, we are expected to see that system kind of linger across our area, possibly as late as Wednesday afternoon before clearing out Wednesday evening. As I mentioned, we could see some high winds, hail, maybe an isolated tornado, but a lot can change between now and then. But even if we don't see severe weather, we are still going to see quite a bit of rainfall. We're expecting around an inch and a half of rain at this moment. Some locations could see isolated amounts close to two inches of rain. So it's going to be a pretty wet system, and we've already had a few flood warnings for parts of our area, so we may see a few flooding concerns 
but this is also good news for those that are still experiencing the drought. So here's a look at the current drought monitor. Not a drought in uh, for Madison and areas to the south and to the east, but to the northwest of Madison, also around La Crosse, we're seeing a moderate to even a severe drought for a few locations. An extreme drought out in Iowa, but thankfully our area has been a lot better thanks to some recent rainfall over the last couple of weeks. Now temperatures during all this will certainly drop by the end of next week. We could be seeing highs back in the lower 50s possibly upper 40s on Friday, and then it looks like they'll slowly start to rebound by Monday of the following week. But next weekend will certainly be cooler than this weekend, although it still looks to remain dry. So 70s the next couple of days, storms Tuesday, rain Wednesday, and then the cooler temperatures, although it will still be dry by next weekend, similar to this weekend. For Madison's forecast, maybe a few isolated showers on Thursday. But for the most part, we're only going to see rain Tuesday and Wednesday as temperatures will be in the 60s those two days, lower 50s for Thursday and the weekend, possibly upper 40s on Friday. That does look to be the coolest day. And then it does look like temperatures may rebound for the following Monday. All right, thank you, Jacob. Now let's check in with sports with SAC. A lot of people throw the injury prone thing out there. Yeah, I've had my fair share of injuries, but like, Injury prone injuries are where someone is injuring the same thing multiple times over and over and over again. I think at the end of the day, I just have luck sometimes. Definitely bad luck. In his three seasons in Madison, Chaz Malusi saw each season end early with injuries to his knee, his arm, and last year at Purdue to his leg and ankle. But each setback, Malusi came back. The six-year senior running back is healthy again and made it a point to be ready for spring ball so he didn't have to shake off the rust during fall camp after playing just four games in 2023. And the grind to get back to the field again is part of a journey that Malusi wouldn't have any other way. At this point, I'm just so used to it. Like, it's never been easy. Uh, and I, at this point in time, like, I mean, I don't even really know if I want it to be easy because, like, I don't know. It's part of my story. And at this point, I've just been embracing it. I think a lot of people know. I think everyone knows. I mean, if I stay healthy, I think the sky is the limit. And I think the main goal is just to be myself. I don't, I'm not going to put a goal on, like, I want to have 2,000 yards. I want to do this. I want to do that. I just want to win games. Named after a former Badger, the Mike Richter Award never before has been won by a Badger. That is until Friday when Kyle McClellan made Wisconsin men's hockey history as the Badger netminer was named the National Goaltender of the Year. McClellan went 24-12-1 between the pipes this year and led the country in shutouts and tied for the national lead in save percentage. Most Wisconsin softball looking for their first win at Goodman Diamond, taking on Ohio State, and the fifth inning is when it got fun for the Badgers. Two on for Brooke Cuffle, and three gone. Cuffle sends a three-run blast to Picnic Point, part of a five-run inning for UW. Wisconsin gets the win, 8-4, to four, the final. After a day off, Brewers back on the diamond, opening up a three-game series against the Orioles. Scoreless in the second, and Gary Sanchez. Rips one into the seats and left the pitcher. Not pleased about it, but how's that for his first hit as a Brewer? The crew hit three dingers and get the win, 11 to one, the final. Tactical difficulties caused you to not see the Bucks game on television, Wisconsin, which means I could not roll on it for highlights, so this is the next best thing. Chris Middleton and the Deer wearing some alternate unis with no shorts or shoes, but he was on fire. 18 points, 7 rebounds, and 6 assists from him, but this is how the game actually went against the Thunder. Bobby Portis rocking the gray headband, but crying because Milwaukee would lose to Oklahoma City 125-107. to and the Packers tailgate tour made a pit stop at Dodgeville High School Friday morning where current and former Packers along with Mark Murphy surprised a packed gym and had a little fun with the Dodgers while talking about the importance of being a leader. Special, um, just being able to be out here, you know, just give back to the community and um, just put smiles on their faces, it means a lot. Um, just talking to some of the kids, this is the first time they've seen some of the Green Bay Packers players, so um, it's special to be able to go out here and interact with the kids. And that's it for morning sports. Have a great day. Thanks, Zach. Coming up next, we take a look at a unique club for cup stacking at a Rhode Island school. We're back in a moment. Don't put up with the
take rotten sleep during the biggest sale of the season at Denver Mattress. Right now, everything is on sale. Like the Summit, now only $274.99, plus four years no interest and free shipping. Kick that rotten sleep to the curb only at Denver Mattress. <sighs> Want fresh air. <laughs> You need the experts. Right now at Felco, get free installation, plus no interest for six years. Call 866 for Felco. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. We've all seen what's happening at our border. President Biden and Senator Baldwin's open border policy has brought more than 10 million illegal immigrants into our country. That's double the population of Wisconsin. Our country was already struggling to provide housing and health care to our citizens. And tragically, we're losing over 100,000 Americans a year to the drugs that pour over our open border. Their policy is wrong. I'm Eric Covdy. I approve this message, and I'll work to fix this problem. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters, like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love, printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. Don't put up with rotten sleep during the biggest sale of the season at Denver Mattress. Right now, everything is on sale, like the Summit, now only $274.99, plus four years no interest and free shipping. Kick that rotten sleep to the curb, only at Denver Mattress. Hope in the Wild, Saturday morning at 9.30. Finally this morning, two teachers at a Rhode Island elementary school have gone above and beyond for their students. The teachers formed a unique club for cup stacking. It's a nationally recognized sport involving the placing of cups in predetermined sequences as quickly as possible. With a start and stop button, each kid has been working away at beating their personal record by building stacks and their confidence. It's truly a different type of athleticism, one that works the brain. The teachers brought cup stacking to the school three years ago, and ever since then, they've really just built strong bonds, which they say will last a lifetime. Jacob, just a nice, cool, get me up story on your Saturday morning. Yeah, I've uh, done these like cup stacking things a little bit. Uh, I'm no expert for I sure. I should bring some cups tomorrow but... <laughs> morning. We can do some stacking here at the desk. That sounds like fun. Can do, do but it faster. What I was gonna say is that if you look on YouTube, there are some kids out there that are just insanely fast. Like it, it, it mind boggles me, like how their hands and brains can even work that fast. It it's is incredible. It's quite amazing, isn't it? All right, so let's take one final look at the forecast. It's going to be very nice the next couple of days. Storms on Tuesday, and that rain may linger into Wednesday as well. Cooler temperatures will follow the precipitation. Highs will only be in the lower 50s to upper 40s by the end of the week and next weekend. But it does look like temperatures will start to rebound a little bit by the following Monday. So get out and enjoy the weather this weekend. Monday as well because the rain won't move in until the earliest overnight Monday. And then alert day Tuesday for rain and possible severe weather. Cooler temperatures for the end of the week. But I don't know about you, Kyle. I'm really looking forward to the temperatures the next two afternoons. It's going to be just about perfect. Thank you, Jacob. Well, we're back here tomorrow morning at 630, maybe with some cups for your sunny Sunday.